Hey there guys, or hey there passengers, um, it's Quay Afro, um, bringing you another video, and this is another request that um, uh, was sent in on the 1st of April, I do believe, by PilotBoy94, um, try, he said try this, it's a uh, train simulator 2014 scenario driving the class 466 on the Isle of Wight, and he did it the other day, guessing that's the other day back in April, which would have been back in March. So yeah, just um, this is another one of the requests that people can still send in if they want to uh, on Steam. Uh, use the thread that I've made. Uh, much easier for me to like get all the places where the requests are. Anyway, um, also shoutouts for this video. Go to 2002 TV and Jose or Jos Jose Jose Marte or something like that. I think so. I think that's how you say Joe's Marte. Yeah, Joe's Marte and 2002 TV. Their links will be down in the description below. Give them a check out or whatever. Uh, subscribe, comment, or whatever you want on their channel. Show appreciation. Uh, so that is 2002 TV and Jose uh, or Joe's uh, Marte. Uh, again, if you want a, a shout out, please just comment down below. I add you to the almighty list and uh, things will be good. Anyway, in this scenario, which Pilot Boy 94 made, is using the class 466 on the Isle of Wight. And I haven't actually done that many Isle of Wight videos. I think I've only done my other, my only other one was the, I think it was my second video I did. Anyway, let's open the doors. Let's let's do this. This is all legit. Two cars. It's all nice. The, the Look how high the train is above the platform. This is like ludicrous. Because normally you would have the 1938 stock on here, but now you have this really tall, modern, well, not modern, but, you know, newer 466. Anyway, doors are going to close. We're going to be heading to Esplanade. I don't think they use this other platform anymore. So I don't, I don't know how they use this other platform because, I don't know. I've never seen it being used. Let's go. The microwave train, I call it. We even have a passenger view, which is decent. Southeastern Railway stock at UK. Ooh, they stole it. Well, this, well, to be honest, the Island Line is owned by uh, Southwest Trains. So, Southeastern Railway, they've just nicked it now. Or, well, basically, I guess the scenario is basically that um, Southwest Trains leased some of these. Maybe the, 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 it, it, um, ooh, can open it. Can I? There we go. I want to open it. I want to keep it open. Fresh air. Fresh, fresh, um, coastal air. Ooh, whoa. This train loves to accelerate, but I have to keep in mind that the, the speed limits on the Isle of Wight is very slow. So we're not going to be going anywhere f too fast. Anyway, let's. Let's do a little kind of flyby in there of like our train coming in. Have to brake soon. Actually, braking is pretty fine on this train, so there's nothing pretty much to worry about. Ladies and gentlemen, the train on your platform right now is to Shanklin. This is a train driver. This is Ride Esplanade. This train is to Shanklin. I think it's to Shanklin. Yeah, it's to Shanklin. Very nice. Ride Esplanade. Pretty cool. I like it. Very nice. Yeah. Cool, let's let's head out of here. And these low speed limits are gonna kill me. Especially because uh, this train is just such an accelerating train. It does not like to be kept at a limit. 
I mean, it doesn't matter. We're good. We'll try and keep it at a minimum. Here, it loves to speed up, even in the 1938 stock, because it's going downhill into the tunnel. Next stop is Ride St. John's Wood. I really wish I could go faster, but I would stick to the speed limit. I can't break it. I think, like, uh, I, I, um, when I was streaming, um, people were just, like, trying to... Some There was only a few... Like, I think there was only one or two people that wanted me to just, like, go really fast or ram the train or derail the train. But then a lot of... Ooh, a nice signal. A lot of people were like, no. And they were, like, pe people were basically... Most of the viewers were silencing the people that were saying crash into something and they were just like people that didn't want to see that were like that's a waste of time and I agree like I like I don't play this game to kind of like you know muck around in it like I play it to you know simulate drive a train like if I wanted something that I can just trash trains in or something like that I guess I could like find a Gary's mod kind of game mode and make it in there or something like that I don't know Like, even if I crash something, like, normally if I derail something, it'll be basically at the end of the video when I smash into a buffer by accident, and then it's funny, but I don't do it on purpose. Trust me, I, I, I don't do it on purpose. Very peaceful. I wonder what the AI, well, we had an AI back there, oh, yeah, AI is a 466. Hey, other buddy driver. Going so slow. Oh, <laughs> speeding. Going so slow. Oh, there we go. There the There's the current gen of stock trains that run on this line, which is not running on this line now, because probably they're broken down. You can pretty much line up all the trains that are used on this line, on that platform, pretty much. Ladies and gentlemen, this is when I'm entering Ride St. John's Wood. The station is Ride at uh, St. John's Wood. Changes for trains back up to Ride Esplanade and Ride P ahead. Did they actually fit a 466 in that garage? Wow, that is... It can actually fit in there, but look how look how tall. Yeah, it's basically scraping the top of the door. That's how big these trains are compared to, like, the... The, um, uh, the 13... Uh, the 1938 stuff. That's how really small they are. Look, how, look at the height comparisons. It's adorable. We can blast it a little bit now because our max speed is 45 miles an hour. So scary. Let's go, go, go. And we're going to have to slow down now. Oh, we're not stopping at Smallbrook Junction, the only station on the line that actually has an interchange with something. Oh well, it's probably not a, a, a steam day. Well, I think the way that this station works, it, it works when there's a steam train available. So basically, uh, I don't know how it works, but it's, a, it's an interesting station. It's a station that actually has no exit. It's only a station to alight for a train. You can't actually get out of the station. Because it is literally just an interchange station. It's not an exit station. As we'll see right now, there's literally no exit. It's just a middle island platform. Uh, you just change there for the steam service, which comes every, I don't know. Look, we're literally in the middle of a field. Essentially, look, we're just in the middle of a field. You kind of just change here for your, for your steam track here on this platform. You know, it's all good. 
I'm off to Bradding right now. Again, if you guys want um, this, if you want to try out this scenario, the link to it will be down in the description. Or basically every kind of suggested scenario or whatever, or like any kind of scenario I do, like if it's a normal scenario then I don't, I can't find the link. But most of the stuff, like if it's something, someone requested me to do a thing then I'll put in the link, but if it's just some random scenario I find and I can't find the link to it, I won't link it. But normally I should have the link to the scenario in the description if you guys want to play it. So this one will be in the description. close this window a bit now. Can I close it? No, I can't. How the hell do I close it? Oh. I'll just uh, close it halfway. Anything here I can do? Nothing. None of these buttons work. Nope. Oh, no. Nothing. Cab lights. I'll turn it off. We don't need cab lights. Uh, single signal. It's quite a dull train, let's be honest. It's not the most entertaining train. It's kind of dead. <laughs> but anyway, we're almost at Brading, which is our next stop. Most most stops on this line is like I think it's only Sandown, St John's Wood, and I think yeah that's it. San Sandown, St John's Wood, uh, Ride St John's Wood, Ride Esplanade, and Ride Pierhead that actually have double platforms. The rest are basically single track platforms. But in Ride Esplanade, only one platform is pretty much used. In Ride Pierhead, one platform is pretty much used. But yeah, at Sandown, two platforms are used. Pretty cool. I like this little island line. I really want to visit it once and go on it. I think it's a really nice, cute little line. It's, it's simple and, you know. But it's interesting that the history of it is really interesting. The, like, different types of trains that they used on it previously. They, like, I think they used standard stock at once, uh, at one point. Really interesting, like, what, what they've what they've used on it, and then like now they use the they, they they seem to be just using older and older trains to just use this route it's, it's kind of interesting i don't know if they'll e i don't know if they'll ever like upgrade this line to like a modern train unit or something like that i think it's kind of nice the way they have it right now with the 1938 stock because it's just it's kind of like a heritage route in some sense it's not really like a modern route where well, yeah it's going to be high capacity or whatever it's a nice line it's been it is used by people it's a good connection along the um i think it's east of the island i think it is it's a nice uh, it's a nice connection along the east coast of the island it's, it's just a perfect little thing for like people that live on the island and want to get to ripe head to take either the, the ferry or the i don't think they use the um uh, the the hovercraft anymore, but just yeah, it's just a nice connection route to be honest, and it connects up to the pier, so that's good as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now approaching Braiding, Bradding. Damn, you see, like in the 1938 stop, it doesn't appear slow, but in any other train. This kind of speed just feels so slow. It feels ridiculously slow. Anyway, we're here. Nicely slow down. Wow, the actual train reaches the top of the thing. This is how t tall and overgrown this train is for this map. Just the height, let alone the height is just the funny thing. But it's kind of funny, like on some mainline tracks, like um, uh, on mainline routes, you have this kind of issue. Even on like a line that would have these big trains, you have really low platforms. 
because like before all the trains were more closer down to the platforms and now newer trains are much more high off the ground or something like that. Let's go! And we're going to accelerate, we're going to accelerate, we're going to accelerate, and now we're going to slow down. <laughs> and we're going to accelerate again. Give us 100%, see how far we can... Yeah, we're going to have to now take it off. And... Take it off. It's a nice speed, 45 miles an hour is like an average speed. That's what most tube trains go in London at 45 miles. That's the max, I think, like it, uh, lower um, uh, lower lines travel like maybe like at 40 or something like that. That's the max they can travel at pretty much. Uh, oh, like subsurface stock lines, they probably 30 miles an hour is probably the max they go. Because the stations are much closer for subsurface lines. But there have been a lot of um, scenarios like this on the workshop where people have just tried different trains on this line. I think one of the most ridiculous ones I saw was like the class 390 on this route. Like that was just, I think, a bit stupid. But <laughs> it's fun, I guess. It's the fun. Like uh, what I'm doing right now, I think, is pretty stupid. But it is uh, an, an interesting take. Like maybe in the future when the... Um, uh, when the 1938 stocks maybe just can't handle it anymore which to be honest I think with the right maintenance they can just go on as much as they can because it's not a stressful line it's not a demanding line but maybe in the future something like this might need to be the replacement who knows like this is this is the future maybe for this line but let's hope not I, I hope the they, they're able to keep their um, 1938 stocks because it like like right now I have the opportunity of going to like the Isle of Wight to actually ride a bit of history of the um, of, of the London Underground and I can't go anywhere else to like ride older underground trains I can only go to a museum to see them ladies and gentlemen we're now approaching Sandown I think some trains do terminate here, though. I don't know. There's sidings and stuff, so. Oh, yeah, we have a 15 mile an hour limit now. And then it goes down to 10. Like, why can't it just be 15? Or why can't you just tell me 10 from now? It's just ri ridiculous how the, the different sets of speeds. Nice and slowly does it. <laughs> nice. Oh, we're speeding. And the acceleration in this train is ludicrous. Oh, we're just about fit under the rain protector. Ladies and gentlemen, this station is Sandown. Next station is Lake. So we have gotten a red signal, which means that there is a train somewhere up ahead that we're waiting for to pass before we can go, which would be nice. Hopefully. Is there a train? Mm, doesn't look like there is. I hope there is. It would be more interesting if there was. Oh, and this is a subway, I guess. Yeah. Oh wait, do we have to press tap? Oh, nope, it's denied. So there is some sort of train up ahead. Probably has to be. Let's let's go. Let's have a little look. See. Eagle vision right now. A train driver would eagle vision. I can see what's ahead. I can see the future. Look, there's the sea. This is what I mean about the East Coast. 
No, there's no train up ahead. What the hell? So why are we getting a red signal? Why are we getting... Why are we getting a red signal here? It's not allowing me to pass it. And we don't have to wait at this station, so I don't understand this red signal. I'm just going to pass it, you know. Okay. Doesn't even... It doesn't even... Okay, that's really weird. Didn't even stop me going over it. That's a bit of a glitch. Interesting there. We'll do a little bit of passenger view. We'll do a passenger view up to Lake. It's not even that far. It's less than a mile between these two stations. Just tease the throttle. What? What? Derailment due to junction switch against service one longitude. So, wait, what? That's really odd. I don't know, pilot boy. I don't know. What, I don't know what you did in this in this scenario, but I don't know why is was there an actual red signal there? If there's no train up ahead, and I don't know why the switches were switched anyway. If there was no train up ahead, it should have had a switch for me to go directly down to San, uh, to Shanklin. I don't know. Maybe there was a train at Shanklin and I had to wait, but I don't know. That that's a bit odd. That'd be there'll be quite a long time to wait there. I'd have to go to Lake and then I don't know. Anyway, uh, we didn't finish it, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope Pilot Boy Nine Four you enjoyed me playing it. I, I'm still a bit confused with that red signal. If there was if if there was a train up ahead, then I'm sorry. But if there wasn't a train up ahead, I don't know why there was a red signal and why were the points switched. Like, they should have been switched before I got into Sandown. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video so far <laughs> of, of what it is. Um, I was pretty unexpected. I didn't even know how I was able to pass the red signal. That's even more the uh, unexpected thing. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was a request by PilotBoy94 on Steam that he made. So again, if you guys want to suggest anything, use the link down below to the requests and suggestions thread I've made on the Steam group. Uh, if you do it there, that would be the best place. Just one area where I can have all the requests instead of like finding it from different areas that you guys randomly post it on. Uh, but anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. You get to keep up to date with all the uploads. Like you get like a notification when I sent a, a when I upload a video. If you like the video, thumbs it up and uh, shows me the love. Um, what else? If you have any other peeps or friends or whatever that like this sort of stuff, share it with the share function. And comment down below if you have anything to ask or like you even just want to chat down below. I respond to everything. I try to respond to everything. I like interacting with people. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in another one. You guys have been great. Bye-bye.